<laughs> that was easy. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've reached a decision on this conflict with the villagers. I hope I am not mistaken in bringing you along. I decided to let Tassius stay because his beliefs were in conflict with my own. So tell me again your thoughts. Something on your mind? On this Southerside village conflict. Don't get me wrong, I think the Southerans' methods are questionable at best. But at least we won't be directly involved with murder if we take their side. I doubt the Warden would be pleased if we kill off the very same villagers he instructed us to help. I haven't a care about the Warden's wishes. And you, Bryn? Morning. I grew up in Southside, so I may be more than a little biased on the matter. They don't deserve your pity. If you have an opportunity to undermine them, you'll be doing the entire island a favor. <laughs> Excellent. And you, my new servant. You have need of me, sire. I'm just curious as to your thoughts. The Sithurans believe the mercy of Dagon can be paid for in blood. They are fools, master. However, there would be a certain hilarity when the reaping wipes them out anyway, don't you think? I say we side with them for the irony. I say not. Come on. How dare they sacrifice one of their villagers to Dagon and not me? They'll pay for that. Where is the elder person here. Oh, did you need something? What have we got up here? Is someone back here? No. Yes? Well, hello. Are you the Elder? In yes. what way can I be of assistance? Why, hello. I've made a decision. I hope it's the right one. I'll do it. That is most refreshing news. See it done, then. All right, let's go. The Suthicide Elder... Alkaniasis. ...must die. <laughs> I admire these people for trying to defend themselves from Dagon. That curry's favor from me. All right, let's go. Oh, look, there's the elder there. I might be able to kill him from here. No. Hmm. Then maybe I'll need to use a regular bow. Do I still have one? Here we are. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to do it that way. I'll just have to hope that no one sees me. It's better off. A villager saw me. What a waste. Oh, what happened? Who did this? Another poor soul lost. Dead? How did this happen? All right, let's go back to the other village. Greetings. Why, hello. I've killed the Elder. Thank you, Outlander. Oh, you've done a great deed for my people today. I hope this will suffice. And what is this? In what way can I be of assistance? All right, well, I suppose we're done here. Let's see what this is out here to discover. The Blue Star Cavern. Well, I think we have a mission then for, or with Bryn. Let's check that out. All right, come on. What do you want? Just how far away is this outcast? Must be on one of those islands. Greetings, Dovahkiin. What? Even on an island so small, you're a difficult man to track down. Who are you? We are followers of Vermina, the rightful ruler of this region. We come to you on Our Lady's request. There is much she wishes to discuss with you. You mean those followers that I exterminated in Skyrim? <laughs> and what does Vermina want with me? In the days of old, before the Oblivion Crisis, this region fell under her domain. Dagon betrayed and overthrew Our Lady, turning this land into the staging point for his return to power. As the island's champion, she has chosen you to reclaim it. <laughs> All right. 
A few of you tried to kill me before I left Skyrim. We are aware of your encounter with that rogue. Oh, a rogue, was it? It saw only the death and destruction that await your future, omitting the greater role you will play in Vermina's service. Hmm, I He attempted see. to challenge Destiny, and he paid the price for it. He certainly did. Is Vermina responsible for the dreams that I've been having? Dagon corrupted many of Our Lady's powers when he came to dominance. You should trust neither dream nor vision until her power over the island has been restored. Alright then, I'm ready to speak with Vermina. What? Nothing's happening. All in good time, Dovahkiin. Dagon made great efforts to uproot every source of Vermina's power here. Even as devoted followers, we only hear her wishes through faint whispers and riddles. Until we have completed fashioning a new shrine, she will be unable to speak with you. Hmm, what a pity. Where will this shrine be located? We will not discuss that here, where Dagon's spies could be lurking behind any nook or shadow. When the shrine is complete, we will send for you. Until then, allow me this word of caution. Vermina is not the only one that desires you as a champion. You mustn't fall for the enticing promises of Maroon's Dagon. He is not as fair or forgiving as Our Lady. Hmm. Yes. Very well. Dovahkiin. What do you want? Yeah. Dovahkiin. Speak quickly. There's nothing else I want. You're all dismissed. Is there okay. something I can do for you? No. All right, let's concentrate on Bryn and her quest. Then, perhaps, we can speak with the Warden. Alright, Bryn. I've had a premonition that we cannot complete your quest. If we go into that cave, these two will not emerge, and it could jeopardize the rest of our mission. So, I'm sorry. You'll just have to find your father on your own time. All right, let's go. All right, it's time to curry some favor here at this village. Yes. Iron Atronach. Oh, oh, there it is there. What's happening? All right, everyone, calm down. All 
Alright, let's go back and talk to the village. Perhaps the elder. It's getting hard to remember who I killed and who I allowed to live. Or perhaps we don't need to talk to anyone. We can just collect our reward. There we are. All right. It's done. Wait. Look out. I'm are those good looking to die. werewolves? arrows. <laughs> Think you can take me? Mercy. Oh, that poor villager. This is the end. Eat steel, outsider. Running now. Ugh, I hate it when I end up wearing their blood. Is that all of them? Oh no, don't tell me the entire village is dead. Well, oh, I thought... What might you need? I thought there was a man s sitting there that's dead out want? there. Are you the only survivor? Look out.
Oh, I really think she's the only survivor. It's too bad. Alright, Zavok. I thirst for the blood of your enemies, Master. Is something on your mind? As much as I enjoy killing these incompetent mortals for you, Master, I can't help but feel my skills as a Kynval are wasted here. A Kynval? The third rank in the hierarchy of the Kine, or Dremora, as you cause mortals call us. Kynval are warriors that have distinguished themselves above the rest, demonstrating the capability to become the future leader of their clan. And how are your talents wasted here? I would be the head of my clan right now, were I not stabbed in the back by one of my own caitiffs. The Kine are a race that value loyalty to their clan and lord above life itself. Treachery and deception are unheard of among our ranks. And yet here I am, servant to a mortal master. Well, you're free to go if you wish. Master, it is not that simple. I am assigned to your company until you fulfill your destiny. I cannot depart before the terms of my commission are satisfactory. And how did you lose your position? Poison! He knew he couldn't defeat me without an advantage. The disgrace challenged me for my title after dishonorably sabotaging my body. He spat in the face of all we kind hold dear. Can you ever become the leader of your clan? Again? No. My honor is tainted. I've accepted this, but I will not endorse Aaron Kier's rule. The people of my clan deserve a true leader, not some silver-tongued serpent. If I'm ever to return, I will drag Aaron Kier's unworthy carcass to the lowest depths of the void. There he will rot with vermin of the same Akalon. But I tire of talking up the unattainable. There are many skulls left to shatter. We shouldn't keep them waiting. All right then. Is there anything else on your mind? Chaos and destruction. At your command, of course. Of course. And you? Hello. Okay, well, another village laid to waste. Perhaps it's time that we go see the warden. See how he approves of my helping out the inhabitants of the island. And so we meet again. You've returned. Might I ask why? You can ask. <laughs> I've helped your villages. <laughs> yes, by exterminating the inhabitants of one. Very thoughtful. I thought so myself. <laughs> they deserved it. Because they averted Daedric invasion? That is hardly justification for genocide. I hope in time you will learn to abide by the lesser evil. But that is of little immediate relevance. A new threat has arisen. Oh, really? Gates will begin opening beside the northern and eastern villages. If you do not fend off the Daedra, countless innocents will be lost. You said you would help me if I aided your people. My people are not safe whilst Oblivion Gates tower over their homes. 
Our deal has not been altered. Hmm. And how do you know when and where the gates will open? Because I opened them. Oh, of course. In that case, you've killed hundreds, perhaps thousands. An accurate observation. I have set events in motion that have claimed the lives of many. It's what destiny has asked of me, not something I take pride in. You're aligned with Dagon, aren't you? I am his servant, <laughs> the warden of his prison. When he demands destruction for his resurgence, I comply. I don't choose who perishes, not individually. I merely appoint the location from which their doom emerges. And why not refuse Dagon's rule? And oppose destiny. I tried that once. It cost me... everything. When you fight the will of the Divine, you cultivate your own destruction. I should kill you right now. My time is near, but my position is eternal. Kill me, and another will fill the role. Willingly or otherwise. And you still want me to defend the villages? I want you to defend a village. One will suffer, and the other will not. As for which, the choice is yours. Alright then, let's go. Wait, who's this? I overheard everything. He gave us exactly what we needed. The time and place the next Oblivion Gate will open. And why do we need to know that? Since we arrived, I started examining every tome on the Oblivion Crisis I could get my hands on. Turns out there's a way to neutralize these portals, using methods discovered by the Hero of Kavat in the Third Era. How? According to the Archives, something called a Sigil Stone anchors these gates to Mundus. Removing or destroying the stone will sever the portal's connection to our world, dismantling the gate in the process. We're trying to get off this island, not close a gate. Let me ask you something. Do you trust the Warden? Your question is irrelevant. He will keep his word, or he will die. Then you're a fool. What? The Warden's efforts are folly. Nothing he's tasked us with is getting us any closer to home. I say we take matters into our own hands and break this curse at the source. It's the only way to guarantee a passage off this rock. Is this just an excuse to kill Daedra? I won't deny that this research was founded out of hatred for Dagon and his minions. But now it can be used to fracture the shackles that bind us here. That is no selfish motive. And I'll have to remove the sigil stone of each gate? Theoretically. What do you mean by that? Well, it may be smoke and mirrors at this stage, but... I have come across several references to what is called an Alpha Gate. I'm uncertain of its nature, but it may be the source from which the other gates draw their power. Of course, the relevance of this gate is minimal at best until we have a way of identifying it. You're certain removing this stone will work? Well, I've never dislodged one personally. But if history can be relied upon, it's our best course of action. All right, well, she's spoken. Come on. 
the Finn a village? I think we should defend the one that Tassius lives in. I don't think anyone else has any uh, connections to the other. Get ready, this is the, the village. Um, there's the Oblivion Gate. Flash before my eyes. It sucked. All right, did we get them all? All right, it looks like our next step is to enter Oblivion. 